David Foley never wrestling and never coaching wrestling, but getting into the sport watching his son. Thanks to a supportive administration, family, and faith, this season marking a new era of Atlantic Shores athletics. This is ground zero. There was no wrestling program here ever. Picture day for Atlantic Shores. And with that flash, a picture that will live in history. You're looking at the Seahawks' first ever wrestling team, an idea entering the school's hallways with Coach David Foley's arrival. Hey, would you also do wrestling? So we talked about it with the athletic director, and it manifested in what is behind us now. I've always been interested in like combat sports since I was a young age, so when uh, Shores came up with a wrestling team, I thought it'd be cool to join. And for many of these student athletes who have decided to give the sport a try, the passion is only growing. After like losing a couple times, you know, you kind of like get the urge to win. So, you know, you train hard at practice and come back and win. It made me be more confident in myself. It made me want to be just better, um, have a better mindset. So each afternoon, the school cafeteria transforms into the Atlantic Shores wrestling room. It's among the folded tables and vending machines where the Hawks perfect their craft. Coach Foley's son, Blaine, watching his dad put it all together. He was trying to get us our mats and it was a couple month process, but he got his nose in the work and everything and it's just, he's the one who really helped us. Pretty much the word is efficiency and you know, uh, this is the cafeteria behind us. We have to do a little bit of setup, but we're just, we're blessed to even have this. The younger Foley and assistant coach Donnie Ooten, the nucleus of the team, thanks to experience. Blaine wrestling for several years before this season, while Ooten, a former collegiate All-American. You gotta be that energy, be the fun. Um, you also gotta lead them like when they get beat. You gotta make sure you keep their head up because they may obviously see some of their other teammates winning. There's gonna be ups and downs, there's gonna be valleys, uh, highs and lows, but you know, you still gotta stick to the plan and uh, you got to sacrifice. The first brick of a foundation, a program that will allow countless Seahawks to spread their wings. Me and my dad have a chance and our coach as well, Coach Donnie, have a chance to build up this program and help kids grow developmentally, physically, spiritually. Yeah, it's pretty cool because we're like the first in the books, like we're going to be at the top of the list for a while. I don't think they understand it quite yet, but this is ground zero. They're the start of something just awesome. We're excited about it. We're excited to see how the Lord's going to lead us and progress this program. Now Atlantic Shores has two matches under its belt and we'll take the mat for a third time tomorrow.